Today we're going to go over how to create a free Google keyword ranking report using Google Search Console and Google Sheets. Just like this example here, we have all the keywords that we want to track, the, the dates, all the position, the changes. Uh, in this way, we could, we're could we able to see a data trend if it's declining, if it's inclining, and so on. And it will con each week, we'll create a new report so that we could have these changes and we can see uh, better data. So what you want to do is you want to make sure to have all your keywords on the first tab sheets I'll just freeze the first column so that we could just scroll up and you'll have the column here so you can see what this is what each column is the next thing you want to do is you want to install search analytics for sheets you want to get the get add-on and this is the one that you want to install once you install it you want to go open sidebar you might have to connect with your Google search console you might have one or you might have several uh, verified sites what we're going to do is you, we're going to generate the first report so the first report we want to do is um, let's say April 5th to April 11th and we're going to group it by key, query or keywords I'm going to do that for the other ones I'm going to label this make sure when you label it do not leave any spaces or dashes Now let me explain um, what these data are. This specific keyword we're ranking for this specific keyword and within April 5th to 11, we had 83 clicks, 950 click the rates and the average position within that week. So let's say on April 5th, we ranked number one, but all of a sudden we went down on April 11, let's say to uh, ranking number 10, then the average position is going to be five. Um, only difference between the ranking report tool that you might uh, use uh, as a paid subscription versus this free report is the, the differentiator of um, this keyword ranking for a specific page. So if you go to the site,
this keyword is associated with seven pages majority of the time you'll have one or two pages ranking for that keyword google in most of the case will allow two pages to rank for one keyword so um, it's not necessarily uh, an exact data but it, it's equivalent data where you might see uh, let's do another example let's do a pizza oven We're ranking for 14 pages and obviously the the clicks is based on the primary page that's being indexed and ranked for that uh, Google search result so it's good amount of accurate data you don't have to uh, what you could do or if you do this query and page generate the report you can actually see specific pages for a specific keyword and now you can see right here each separated keywords based on specific page but we don't need to go into that this data is more uh, enough accuracy it's more than enough what we want to do is we want to copy this formula equals if error parentheses vlookup parentheses and the formula and we're going to close that off so we're going to label this April two eleven oh okay so this a2 this formula what this formula is trying to do is look at this keyword and we're going to tell the formula go to tab April 5th to 11 for how to create a free Google look at this A through E and pull the data on the fifth column right here go a through e and pull the data on the fifth column that matches with a2 to populate all of this just drag and all of the positions now populated with all the keywords we're trying to track i'm going to just copy this we have this go into that different tab That different tab. Notice I had the 
change all the font. Notice I put the the date similar to the tab, so I could just easily copy and paste the available data. To format this number so it's a little bit more cleaner and there you have it we have ranking weekly ranking report if you wanted to do a daily report or a monthly report All you have to do is click same date availability and for that specific date April 5th we'll be able to generate what's indexed all the clicks and all that stuff so so if you want to do a whole week, month of March, all you have to do is just do this. Now the position, again, is an average position for the whole month. So if it fluctuates uh, a lot, if your site is going up and down one or five um, ranking position and you want to be able to track that you want to do a, a daily basis of the report so that you could kind of see what Google is doing um, if your site is not uh, does not have too much traffic but you want to kind of see uh, get an idea of where you're where you're currently positioned at then you'll be able to uh, get that information too. Uh, the only is thing that they don't populate is country. For some reason, I can't pull up the country. Um, however, if you are doing SEO correctly, we look at eight we have eight thousand three hundred seventy seven hundred clicks in the filter section it'll always populate the primary country so your the difference is a thousand uh, and three hundred the four three hundred forty clicks comparison so majority of your ranking position is going to be based on us uh, everything else um, does not make any sense so um, when you do generate the report it's really accurate um, for how to create a free Google now what we want to do is we want to see the difference so all you have to do is click on b minus c hit enter and now we have the difference of those two different weeks do the same thing here b minus d call this change you can also color code it using the conditional formatting so if the text starts with a negative we could highlight this in red 
if the value is greater than 0 0.0, which means it approved. There you go. Do the same thing here. Now we're able to see the changes and the difference. So you will, you'll want to generate this on a weekly basis. So you could then go ahead and see if there's a, a drop, constant drop, the incline and so on.